Hey guys, it's Core Ross and welcome to the 6 News Roundup. Today we're rounding up all the Rainbow Six News over the last week or so. And we'll begin with how things are going on the test server for the new season which is called Command in Force and it's scheduled to launch on March 7th as its live date but right now it is on the test server. And for two weeks it has been getting daily updates with bug fixes and there's been no big changes and the last patch was on Thursday. Most likely that's the final one before this whole new season goes live on March 7th. I'll also note that sometimes there's little tweaks to the new operator during the test server phase, maybe a little bit of balance in here and there, but there's not been any changes to the new operator, so she is going to come into the game as she was revealed, which is going to be a lot of fun. Another thing that's also hitting with the launch of the new season is going to be some brand new Twitch streamer charms, and you can get these for subscribing to the Twitch streamer on Twitch, and then you get them in game. There's also a bunch of recurring Twitch streamers that you can get the charms for as well. And I've also launched three Mythbuster episodes for the new season, so two on Brava, part one and part two, and then one for Modsy. I've also deliberately missed out a bunch of just cool as hell interactions, which I'm going to wait and see on hopefully launch day, like say an ADS taking out an Azami knife midair, things like that. Things that are just going to be so cool to see on launch day. But in the videos I've covered most of the basics and some of the advanced stuff that Brava's capable of. To me, she's going to be fun kind of like uh, Solus was, like Solus is super fun but Solus is also very hard to kind of play, I think she's quite a complex operator for especially a new player, Brava's kind of the same but I think Solus is a bit of a faster paced operator and Brava is a slower paced operator, I think that when it comes to Solus I am not one to be particularly proficient with her but I enjoy playing her and then with Brava I think I can actually be proficient with her. She's just an opera that kind of plays into my chill gaming preferences and I'm very curious to see what she'll be like on the live servers because in the test server people play to win and I think the subset of players on the test server are also the much more hardcore. You know, I don't think the casual really jump in to play the test server that often. So the team makeup has always been like on defense, everyone runs as little kind of gadgets as possible and uh, which makes Brava less useful. But then on live servers, you're going to have cap cans running around. You're going to have all kinds of stuff getting set up badly. You're going to have maestro cams that are going to be amazing to take over. So I can't wait to see what she'd be like on live. And I just don't know at this moment in time if she's going to have a huge impact on the game or a small impact. And we won't know until live hits. But something that is interesting, I'll just reiterate this, uh, is the new operator will not be bannable in ranked or unranked for the first two weeks. And uh, that's the first time that's ever been implemented onto live servers. That's usually the case on test servers, so we can test a new operator out, but never in live. So this is going to be interesting because if she ends up being like crazy powerful or something like that, which I don't think she will be, but certainly it's a more risky move for Ubisoft to not allow the banning of the operator. And I can also expect that in the first two weeks, we'll probably see Muzzy and Mutant stuff like that get banned way more than usual. But anyway guys, that is a roundup of the Rainbow Six Siege news this week. I will catch you next time. Thanks for watching.